Welcome back girls. So today I'm gonna be recreating a sunset look. I did a while back. I didn't do this for YouTube but I did it for my Instagram. So in the thumbnail I'll be putting the two looks side by side. I'm gonna be using this Alomar, Alomar Cosmetics palette. This is the Reina del Caribe palette volume 1. I got this in my boxy charm a few months back, like three months ago. So the first shade I'm gonna be taking is Coco Taxi. It's this yellowish shade, and as you guys can see, I'm in like a different setting right now, like different background. Just because where I usually film, it's next to my baby's crib, and he is taking a nap, and I'm not trying to wake him up because then I can't film. I'm gonna be taking this brush. It's just a fluffy brush. And I already primed my lids and I have a mirror here so sorry if you guys see me looking over here and I'm just gonna put that on my eyelid and I'm gonna like put a bunch of yellow just because I want it to really pop This yellow is like kind of orangish and I know it's not from the brush because this brush was clean when I started using it. So you guys could kind of see it's this one right here. It kind of has like orange undertones so I don't know if this look is going to look exactly, I don't think it is. I don't think it's going to look exactly like the first sunset look I did. That look was so cute, like, it's the first eye look that I actually was proud of that I posted on my beauty Instagram. And after I did the eye look, like, I just got, like, so inspired and I started doing more eye looks. But lately, I've been, like, so uninspired to do creative eye looks. Like, I'll just do neutral. I don't know why. But I'm gonna get back to doing like colorful eye looks again next i'm taking the shade tropical which is the orange shade and i'm gonna be taking this brush right here which is like more of a less fluffy brush just because i want this shade to be like more pigmented and i'm gonna put this kind of like under the yellow I'm not gonna go over the yellow look right there and you guys could see how pigmented it is and I'm just gonna kind of tap it on like the outer corner and I'm gonna pack that shade and then I'm gonna start blending it and then I'm gonna kind of create like a V to the outer corner And I don't care about all this like mess down here because I usually wipe that with the towel. So now I'm going to start bringing the shade more in. And I'm going to take this brush that I was using first. And I'm going to grab a little bit yellow. I mean a little bit orange. And start blending. And I'm just going to go back in with that other brush. And just add a little bit more orange. Because usually when you blend it, the pigment goes away. I think I'm going to take my other palette. So we're going to set this aside. And I'm going to go in with the Cara Beauty palette the ESO2 this is how it looks and for my other eye look I used this red shade right here it's like a red orange so this is how it looks and I think I'm gonna take that and apply it onto my lid where there's no color and it kind of like on camera it kind of looks like the orange shade but it's not and I'm just packing that onto my eyelid
So this is what it's looking like and there's a little fallout and that looks so unblended but it's just because I packed it on there. I didn't blend it. So I'm going to go in with that brush that we used in the beginning and I'm just going to go back into the other palette and grab that yellow and I'm going to use that to blend the top of the red. And I'm just going to blend on top so it won't like be super harsh. So I'm going to grab a bunch of that yellow and put it like on top just because the yellow mixed with the orange looks like brown like it's not even looking sunset anymore. So I'm going to kind of tap it on top of everything. I'm going to add more orange but with my finger and I'm just going to add that to the outer corner again. I think I'm done with this side well for the top part now I'm gonna just wipe all of this off so now that I'm done with my foundation and my eyeliner I'm gonna take this brush and I'm gonna go into the you had me a hello color pop palette and I always use this shade right here for my eyebrow highlight so I'm gonna take some of that and I'm gonna pop that right on here. My eyes look hella funny right now because it looks like I have no eyelashes. And these pimples just look so horrible. So now I'm taking the Cara Beauty palette. And I'm gonna go into this shade right here. This pink shade. And I'm gonna take this brush. And I'm just gonna put some pink on my bottom lash line now with the same brush I'm just gonna go into this shade right here I'm taking this purple I think this is the shade I had used this purple and I'm gonna put that kind of like more closer to my eye I forgot to do this first. I usually do this before I do anything under my eyes. I'm taking my NYX Faux White Eyeliner. This is a shade White Smoke, but it's like purple, like a purple pastel shade. And I'm just gonna put that down here in my waterline. I'm gonna go back into the You Had Me at Hello Color Pop palette. And I'm gonna take the same shade I used for my brow highlight and I'm gonna apply it. I have to wipe the tears off first. I'm gonna apply it in my tear duct. So I'm gonna take my finger and put like a bunch of it in here. Now that I'm done with my eyes, I just need to put on some lashes because right now I look naked. So I'm gonna go put on some lashes and apply some mascara to my bottom lash line and I'll be right back. So this is the final look and look who's here. Somebody woke up. So I hope you guys like it. Babe, are you looking at me? No. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> so I hope you guys like it. And don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share. And see you guys later. Bye.